Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a minute. It's been a long minute. Um, so uh, I'm doing a bit of a, a bit of an update, and I got a camera person this time, my girlfriend. Anyway, thank you. But um, basically, you might be noticing about the yard that everything's kind of gone except for the turntable roundhouse and what have you, because that's just kind of in there. Well, everything is gone for a reason. You'll also notice it's been freshly ballasted. You'll also notice this piece of track is missing. Uh, I don't know where the piece of track went, but... It's right here. No, not that piece of track. The piece of track that was there. Um, so, basically what had happened, when my grandpa built this, he didn't glue that piece of track down at all. And it was like, there was a chunk of flex track from about here to here. And then, or actually no, it's this red line. So here to here. And then another piece of track to over here. And then another piece. And then another piece. So there's like five pieces make up this one thing. I don't know why he just didn't just do one big giant piece of flex track. But whatever. Or at the very least, just one piece right here. So now it's two pieces. But the point is, he didn't glue this piece down at all. So... A while ago, a long while ago, it decided, no, I don't want to be here anymore. Kicked out. So, now I've got to replace it. So I ripped it out, I ripped a little bit of this out so that I can get to decent track, and then I'm about to install a new piece of track in there. And while I was at it, I was like, you know what, i got to take everything off anyway, I might as well keep doing this whole scenery uh, redo thing that I've been doing on the channel here. So, um, I went ahead and I redid all the scenery and everything. I I ballast it, and it looks so much better. It looks so much better now than it did before. Um, but, yeah. So, that's that. That's that's basically what this episode is here. Uh, we're going to finish this up. I only did up till about there, because I knew I had to finish this bit of track. So, I'll, uh, I'll finish that up. Uh, I'll install the track and then finish ballasting. Um, I want to tell you, though... Um, in the last update, or one of the last updates, uh, whenever I did over there the ballasting point, when I did the ballasting over in um, that section, I used uh, a mix of like what was it? Let me go find it. I used a mix of this stuff. Um, this just says canister shaker. Hang on. Um, and uh, gray ballast. It's like this color ballast and gray ballast, and it was okay. Uh, and but then to get this, the, this is what I was going for originally. Uh, I just didn't know where to find this, which is the black one. So uh, I used a combination of this and the gray in order to make this a tiny little bit of the uh, uh, the lighter stuff. But this is the this is what I was going for the whole time with over there and over there. I just didn't quite achieve that. Um, but it's okay, because what ballast was, it was just a bunch of rocks that just were happen happened to be easy to get a hold of for the railroad that they put under the track, so it's perfectly fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, oh, one more thing before I do that. If we come over here, you'll notice, number one, a narrow gauge test track piece here that I have laid out. That's, that's for something coming later, y'all will see. Uh, a review of something that I should have done a long time ago, but... But you'll notice our station has a blue thing behind it. A long time ago, if I have a picture, I'll pop it up. A long time ago, there was a backdrop going along the those two edges of the layout. Now, that doesn't exist anymore. Well, it does. It's in the other room. But I took that down because it was big, fell off all the time, and it was so hard to reach around, it was just really bad. But I'm thinking, I want to bring a backdrop back. But I want to do it my way. Instead of going around the back like that, what I'm thinking is we have it in different like sections. For example, one running around along here. On this side, think trees. On the other side, which is industrial stuff right now, think industrial buildings and everything. Um, over here, I'm thinking um, on this side. Not that side, but this side. That way, they get good camera angles along that edge, looking in this way. Um, I'm thinking over here, get one next to our bridges so that our bridges don't look like they're bridges and then right next to land that is literally going the same way. 
um, to isolate that to make it a whole different shot. Um, I don't know though what to do for a backdrop in that um, the big main area over there, the, uh, the little town. I don't know what to do for that yet. If y'all have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this. I'm gonna install a bit of track and then finish the ballasting, ballast that, finish this stuff right here and back there and everything, and then put the buildings back. Well, I'll give you an update once the track's down and the um, ballast is all done, and then I'll give you an update when the buildings are done. But first I gotta open the box. Oh! Now, for one piece of track, this box is heavy. Oh! Okay. Cool, so they just send it all at once. Okay, so we've got my one piece of track. I got it from trainworld.com. It's a great place to find cheap, uh, cheap um, train stuff. Although I always advise um, hitting up the old brick and mortar hobby shops, giving them some support because it's 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 places like Train World that uh, put put brick and mortar hobby shops out of business. So now I got a piece of track. It's gonna go right there. Oh, that's perfect. So now I've got that. But in this box is some other stuff um, that I thought hadn't come. I've got a uh, passenger coach I ordered and a thing I'm gonna be reviewing on this channel in a later video. This guy, oh dang, hello. This guy's big. This guy. So I'll be reviewing that in a later video. Oh, a little bit of a catalog, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that bit of track and uh, And then um, I will get back to y'all when I've got that done and the ballast done. Okay guys, I got the track glued down. Now, I haven't actually, um, it's still pinned down right now because I feel like if I don't leave it pinned for like a long time, it's going to like come loose. So, But I've got it pinned down um, and I've got it all ballasted as you can see, uh, which is it's so much better looking to see this all ballasted and everything. So now I'm going to put the buildings all back and then um, and then uh, I'll come back to you whenever I've done that. Okay guys I got all of the buildings back. Okay I got all of the buildings back and um, it looks so much better. Like, like it looks so much better. Um, it just looks like, more complete. I mean, not quite yet. But we've got a little pile of scrap stuff right here. We've got, you got like a little freight station. It's really dusty. I should do something about that. Coal tower, water tower, all this stuff up in here. But it just looks so much better, all like done and everything. Um, I don't want to show you all quite yet um, something running on the new bit of track because. Well, that'll be in a later video, but also the glue isn't 100% where I want it yet, so I still have it pinned down, so um, this pin is sticking up, so you can't actually drive a train past yet, but actually, if I swapped pins, that one's smaller. Anyway, anyway, but the point is, um, it's about done. Uh, there might be a couple of other things you need to do, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that... Um, Give me, give me a subscribe. Also, um, tell me what you want me to, uh, what you think I should do for the backdrop and stuff. Y'all have seen enough of my layout to know um, a couple of places. I want to do here on the bridge. I want to do back behind that station, um, and in various other places. Uh, but what are a couple of y'all's ideas? I want, I want a, a little bit of input here because I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, so if any of y'all have any suggestions on um, the whole backdrop ideas, just let me know in the comments down below.
But that's going to be it for today, and I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time on the channel.